Hello everybody and welcome. This is Adrian and thank you so much for joining me today. Let's play some more Europa Universalis 4 as Brandenburg. We're trying to form Germany. We're trying to get the early Reich achievement. Early Reich achievement, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so let's uh, find out what we were up to. Well, it's the year 1600. <clears throat> Excuse me. We have 24,000 men in our army. We can have 28, but we are paying back some uh, debt at the moment because we I remember we had gotten to a huge war with Bohemia. We actually took Oberlausitz and Niederlausitz and We also took um, Lundberg we took Lundberg so we took a lot of development in that war So now we're just gonna let our country rebuild for a little while should be fun should be nice <laughs> Let's see Utrecht no Utrecht. I do not want an alliance Sorry Utrecht. Sorry so let's just keep on going for a little while. Um, we'll pay back some of these loans. We will build up our force and build up our fleet. And um, yeah, our military is incredibly powerful, which I do like. It's always good to have a powerful army. We're back. To, we're about to be finished with actually all of this here. And what are some of our targets for the near future? Well, I wanted to take Magdeburg. All in, just pieced out in some war with the Commonwealth. I need to take Magdeburg, um, and we actually, we need to make our way south. So I need to own to form Germany. I still need to take over um, Saxon, Munchen, Nuremberg, Hessen, Köln, Pfalz, Augsburg, and Frankfurt. And most of these are independent from what I can see. Most of them are independent. So Saxony, we will annex Saxony. They're allied with a lot of people. Morea, Great Britain, Hesse, Oldenburg, Aragon, and Gelray. And... Even though they are allied with all those people, we will have to uh, take them over. Nuremberg. Uh, do I need anything from Nuremberg? I think I actually have to own Nuremberg. Yep. So they're an enemy. I will have to do so. Ansbach. We got a PU with Ansbach. So that's cool. We're at war with the Ottomans. The Ottomans are getting destroyed. Oh my god. They're being dismembered. Yeah. <clears throat> petition for redress. Peasants typically had no voice, but they could occasionally gain access to the monarch and ask for redress. Accept a petition or deny it. Oh, rebellion. Hmm. Yeah, I might as well. Sure. This is in Lundberg. Crusade happened to us. Hey. Let's go ahead and uh, deal with that rebellion. Sweet. Even at half morale, we just decimate people. We have, um, wow, we actually have 46,000 manpower that we could, you know, have total. Uh, a lot of these reformed provinces are being, um, are being converted. That's not good. Let's see here. We are streaming on YouTube, so just in case um, you guys are watching this video, you know, upon its release, we are streaming on YouTube. So if I answer some questions or something, that's usually what I'm doing, so don't worry. I'm not talking to myself, usually. I guess I am, sort of, kind of. <clears throat> so how much more do we have to pay back? 322 plus interest, okay. So I think our, um, our immediate target will be to attack Saxony. We actually don't have a truce. And, I mean, they have some, some decent allies. I mean, they're allied, you know, over here with um, with Oldenburg and with Hesse. In fact, it'd be really nice to take Oldenburg. I actually could do that. I could fully annex this guy. I, I do have a truce with him, though. So. That would be uh, that'd be something to do. Let's check our aggressive expansion. Uh, we have some with Bohemia. We don't have any really anywhere else. So, that's nice. But let's just pay off some of these loans first. Let's get some stuff paid off and, and just kind of build a country back up a little bit. No truce with Sweden. So right now I'm allied with Sweden, the Commonwealth, and Austria, plus its subjects. Um, wow. Wait, what? Oh, we're in a war together. That's right. Yeah, I'm actually allied with... Let's double check who. I'm actually just allied with the Commonwealth and Austria. I think I was allied with Sweden at one point, but I'm not anymore. Uh, the Knights, Commonwealth, Ulm, and Utrecht. Interesting. Some of Pomerania. Pomerania is allied to Ravensburg, Manchu, and the Golden Horde, and they're transferring trade power to Genoa. That's interesting. 
let's see here. I got a recommendation in the YouTube chat. Why not just take Magdeburg? Is it completely surrounded? And I could. They have some fairly potent allies. Um, sort of. Munster, Frankfurt, uh, Ulm, and Ferrara. Ulm, Munster, Ferrara. Munster. Ooh, Munster is Catholic. Yeah, I could. It's a possibility. Friesland, Magdeburg. Magdeburg has 21 development, so it is a lot. It's not like that's chum change. So maybe maybe we could. I don't know yet. Um, I would like to make the borders look all nice. <clears throat> the possibility of them being in uh, the Protestant League, though, is maybe a little worrying. I have to find out if they are or not. We are rooting out corruption. Can you humiliate my rival? Take take Prague. We just had a general die. What's my armor tradition? 73.4. How are we doing on tech? I'm eight years ahead on those. Let's go ahead and hire a general. He's a 2532. Beautiful man. He's an amazing guy. So that's good. We have a rebel uprising in Brunswick. Braunschweig. Actually, no. It's actually here in... Uh, in Hoya. Interesting. Crusade happened to us. So we'll attack Saxony, Magdeburg, and hopefully maybe Annex Oldenburg. It's a lot of development there though. So Saxony might might just be the only one that we take in that war. And even then, taking Saxony is gonna be difficult because they have a lot of allies. So I can't just march in there. <clears throat> Money appears to be an issue right now. We have a 14-2-8 stack. The artillery are very expensive. So, uh, my autonomy, I've actually done pretty good at keeping the autonomy kind of low. Holy shit, Ottomans will see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 provinces to the Commonwealth. 1 and 2 will go to Austria. Some of these will go to the Mamluks. Wow. The Ottomans were just dismembered by the Commonwealth. Holy shit. Greece is independent. Albania is independent. Morea is still there. Crete actually still belongs to the Venetians. Chios even belongs to the Commonwealth. Oh my god. George is out here. The Timurids are actually... You know what's crazy is that the Timurids are still alive. I'm actually really kind of surprised they didn't implode or something. Tabaristan is here. Botan is our independent. Iraq, Naj, are there. The Ottomans still control significant territories in the 11th. We've renewed a loan. That sucks. Um, we're not going to get anywhere at this rate. Should I attack this guy? I got no diplomats to send. Oldenburg, where are you, my friend? Give me Hanover. Oh, yeah, I already have a, yeah, I already have a claim on Magdeburg. Saxony. Galbraith, Aragon, Oldenburg, Hesse, Great Britain, and the Maria. It's a lot of people. It's a lot of people. I'm gonna take some uh, people taxes. Yeah, people taxes is gonna be nice. Um, I will admit, I think right now this campaign might be a little slow going. Ooh, what's happening here? France is at war. With who? Oh, well, Austria's at war with somebody. Austria's at war with France and Switzerland. Looks like there's some sort of... Interesting. Yeah, some sort of a coalition war. So France is, in, is defending somebody. Cool. That's cool. We have some free diplomats. I do have a lot of territory to take, so I should try and, and get some claims and stuff. We're going to be going to war a lot in the next few years. Bremen is the target. Bremen would be uh, actually a very excellent target. I even have a claim. Ooh, that's right. They were a free city. And Austria was going to protect them, but now they won't. Bremen is allied with Bremen, Magdeburg, and Riga. Or Riga, Magdeburg, and Lubeck. 
Holy shit, what if I did that? What if I took Bremen and Magdeburg and maybe an old Lubeck's treaties and such? That would be something. That, that, that would be something. We're going to get some serious unrest here, though, and some serious debt. I say we do it. Let's actually go ahead and attack. We'll be at war with Lubeck, Magdeburg, and Riga. Where's my fleet? We have 11. We might have to take some loans and some other things, but we'll be uh, we'll be just fine. Holy shit, stack wipe there. Let's go on speed three. And our army is beastly. Beastly. Oh my god. Beastly. That ain't even funny right now. What's the fort levels here? Lubeck is going to be a bitch. That needs 15,000. Bremen actually needs 15,000 as well. Magdeburg actually would be relatively easy to take. Let's actually march some, march some troops out there. Riga is going to send in some reinforcements. Holy shit. 14 upon arrival. Nice. We've been engaged here with uh, this looks like a Lubeck force. Let's go ahead and withdraw. I actually just remember that my navy is actually outdated anyway. So it doesn't really matter. Um, let's go ahead. Let's just take Magdeburg real fast. Just knock them out real quick. Riga is not a huge, a huge concern of mine. I think we'll be okay. I'm just going to boom, boom, boom. We'll take Lubeck. We'll take Magdeburg. Well, I might hold off on that actually because that's, that's a lot of development. Look at this here. It's 35 freaking development, man. No one just takes that without any aggressive expansion. No way. That doesn't happen. Are they Protestant? Oh my God, they are. That makes it even better. That means that most ca most Catholics in the world will not care for them. Yeah, give me a full annex, man. How much aggressive expansion is that? What in the fuck? Holy shit, that's a lot. That is a huge coalition. Okay, that's not gonna happen then. An old treaties. Give me uh, give me war reps. Give me money. Sorry, Magdeburg, can't take you yet. So he's, he's diplomatically isolated. That's what he is. I don't have any claims on Lubeck, I don't think. Oh my god, yes I do. Yes I do. We'll get some money. We'll get some money from these wars. That'll be nice. Um, probably gonna go up here to Lubeck. Let's knock out Lubeck. These are 10 lights. What do I have here? These are uh, galleys, actually. Hmm. Let's go ahead and siege down Lubeck. Get them out of the war. Uh, Riga's going to come out here once again. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, that's right. We got another loan that I can repay before we do that. Ansbach is here. They will help. Riga, actually, you know what? Riga's got pretty decent, pretty decent military ideas. I'm actually really impressed. Holy shit, man. Manpower recovery speed, discipline, national garrison growth, and they took defensive. Not bad, Riga. I'm actually kind of impressed. <clears throat> okay, so we just took, um, let's see, we have defensive influence. These are done. This one's going to be done too. And what is my focus right now? Yeah, we're here on military IDs. We must have, um, we must have been poised to take a military ID group. And I can't take it because it's actually going to be, um, I'll have a uh, too much. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. So that's not going to happen, is it? <clears throat> let's see. Another idea group. We got defensive and offensive. Let's see, trade, exploration, maritime, espionage, no, innovative is nice, religious is nice. Religious actually might really come in handy. Economic is not bad, expansion, administrative is not bad. Humanist I don't think is necessary for this campaign. Religious actually, if anything. Innovative would, would make some sense too. But it's like, dude, we're so far behind on admin tech, like how the hell are we going to catch up and get an idea group? That just doesn't make a lot of sense to me. 
Diplomatic is nice. Trade, maybe. Exploration doesn't really make a lot of sense. Maritime is nice, but I don't think we're going to need it for this campaign. Damn. I don't, I don't think I can take an administrative idea group. I don't think it makes a lot of sense. Yeah. I'm going to go for diplomatic. Honestly, I don't... I just don't think I can take anything else. I don't think it makes a lot of sense to do that. So. Let's see, I got a question in the YouTube chat. Uh, how long do I expect that I will... Um, that it will take to unite Germany? Well, it's 1604 right now. Um, and we've been making good progress, but I think it's going to take a while. I think maybe by 1700, I think probably it's going to be in probably another hundred years because I have a lot of territory to take. I have a lot to burn through, you know, we'll attack Poland eventually. They are allied with a lot of people. We'll have to be on top of our game when that comes around. Sweden is, um, you know, Sweden's a big one. Looks like uh, the British are up here. Let's go ahead and go in speed four. We're just going through some sieges for a little while. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, we just took Lubeck. Let's go ahead and uh, let's piece them out. Oh my god, these guys are rich. Holy shit. These guys are super wealthy. I just paid back all my loan, literally from what I got from fucking Brand or uh, from Lubeck. Wow, and I know all their treaties, so they are now diplomatically isolated. Oh, these guys, uh, Magdeburg actually just got a trade league with Venice. That sucks. Ooh, we got Brunswickian separatists. Yeah, sure, river crossing's fine. I got a three maneuver general. They got a one maneuver general, so I don't get any river crossing. Nice. Oh my. God, look at that. This is just terrifying. Can't change my national focus until 1621. Austria wants some access. That's good. It's fine. Looks like most of the Netherlands is actually either belonging to France or is independent. Which is uh which is interesting. We got one diplomat. Sweet. And I'm actually going to get this Grand Army Land Force Limit modifier, plus 20%. We already, we have a 24 out of 28. Netherlands declares independence. Ooh, cool. I think I will go for that military idea. We're going to get flintlock muskets. These are cavalry shock and supply limit. Ooh. Someone inherited the throne of Holland. Ooh, we just got religious toleration. Development cost, minus 5%. Tolerance of heretics. And we get our finisher, 7.5% discipline. Holy God, our army is going to destroy. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're actually going to win this battle here against the Regan force, the Regan naval force. Hello, everyone in the YouTube chat. Thor, very nice to meet you, man. Thank you so much for joining our live stream today. We're going to take Bremen. And then I think Riga is going to be the last target. Wow, these guys are rich too. They have hell money. What? How How am I getting a coalition? You got to be kidding me. I don't have any aggressive expansion with these people. I mean, it's a little bit, I guess. Actually, Oldenburg is kind of a lot. What the hell, man? What is with this coalition? Why do I have one? Oldenburg, Saxony, Cleves, Gelray, Pomerania, Bremen, and Lubeck, and Bohemia. Jesus, guys. That's fucking a lot. We're going to have to... I think we're going to have to wait for this war for a little while before it can actually... Annex. Jeez, I mean, I started in 1603, so we have a little while. But dude, that's a lot. Let me actually ask the Commonwealth for some... Uh, was Riga Catholic? They are. And Bremen is actually, um, ooh, that is that is true. Bremen is Catholic. Yeah, that's why probably the aggressive expansion is so damn high. 
Uh, we're about to destroy the Regan force right now. Uh, we just got, what was that, the Diet of Worms? Oh, we just got the Diet of Worms. No more Protestant League. Pretty cool. So, looks like Trier, Utrecht, Alsace, and Magdeburg are now electors. Ooh, Magdeburg is an elector. Jesus. And we just got Catholic Empire. Oh, that aggressive expansion. Son of a bitch. That's not good. That sucks. Hmm. That's going to be weird, man. That's going to be weird. So we got Catholic Empire, so we can actually attack Protestant people now. That's nice. Everybody supports Austria being the um, being the emperor, so I don't think that's going to change anytime soon. Hmm. And they'll accept this too, but it's just the uh, the coalition that's bothering me. Ooh. Lubeck, Bremen, Oldenburg, Saxony, Pomerania, Cleves, and Gowray. That's a huge coalition, guys. That's that's huge. It's huge. Let me see if I might be able to take some territory from Riga instead. Maybe just a couple provinces, because these guys are pretty weak. No, actually. Let's see. Annul your damn treaties, man. And give me some money. Don't give me a sell. I don't want it. Okay, we'll just do what we have to do to get that. Money's good. Manpower's fine. <clears throat> Excuse me. Riga wants out. Okay, Riga, you're out. So, Bremen, you're my only guy left, are you? Oh, dude, that aggressive expansion. I don't understand. I don't know why it says that I have so much against these people. I really don't think I do. You know? Huh. Let's see, 24 to 34. Let's get two cav. And let's get some more inventory. It's going to be expensive to raise all these troops. Honestly, I mean, if I actually go to... I could go to war against a coalition. I really could. Depends on who it is. Depends on where they are. You know, it, it just... It would depend. I would just, I, I should attack the coalition prematurely, and that's it. Because right now, it says that I'm getting aggressive expansion, and it's quite a bit. I'm, I'm not going to be able to take this territory, so. If anything, I'm actually going to force religion to get some war reps, and that's about it, I think, for Bremen. I can't take the territory, at least not yet. I don't know what the hell happened. I don't know what happened with that aggressive expansion. I have no idea, but we'll, we'll figure it out. It's fine. So, anywho, we went to war, we got some money, you know, and stuff, we got, we repaid some things, we practiced our, um, our, you know, combat techniques and such. So, that's nice. Galray joins the Republic of the Netherlands, okay, we're gonna have a huge army in just a minute, 34,000. That's a lot. That's quite a bit. Let's get this better relations guy, if there is one, nope. Mm, nope. National tax modifier, okay. Anywho, there we go. That's our army. It's large. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and decrease my army maintenance, and I'm going to go ahead and take a break here, guys. We will be back for the next episode. Thanks so much for watching. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you in the next episode. Thanks so much.